Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with the next video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. Now I took a break for a few days with Bootstrap, didn't make any video and we didn't actually finish the Bootstrap series. I'm going to try finishing this series as soon as possible and uh, in this video we are going to learn about responsive utilities available in Bootstrap framework. First let's read this passage and see what it says. So for faster mobile friendly development uses utility classes for showing and hiding content by device via media query. Now what does that mean? We have four breakpoints available in Bootstrap. Smaller devices, small devices, medium devices and large devices. Smaller devices, sorry extra small devices means phones, small devices means tablets, and medium devices are decks of devices greater than or equal to 992 pixels and the larger devices which are greater than or equal to 1200 pixels wide. Now if you look at here we have a few classes here so visible and hidden. So to use these classes you type a visible, you type dash and then you type xs. Xs or sm or md or lg these are all the breakpoints. Now sometimes you want to show some content in your web page uh, on particular breakpoints so let me show you this page first I'm gonna open that into a browser it's a very simple web page just to demonstrate these utility classes now I have a span tag on the top which has a class of h1 basically it's selling the browser that considered as as h1 and then we have a p tag which has a text in it and then we have the image in it now Right now I'm looking at this page at uh, probably 1200 pixels wide. We can check that by right clicking and click on inspect. Now if I want to change this to responsive and maybe we can go to let's say select that desktop base devices. Okay so if you go right click here you go to responsive and then you can click on edit and you can see all the devices available here. Okay, so let's just close that. I'm gonna close this. And now, as you can see, this has uh, been viewed on a desktop. Now I have four, three kinds of elements here. Now let's say I want to show this Hello World text only on mobile devices, not on a desktop or tablet devices. So what I can use is called visible class. So we go to span tag class H1. And here I'm going to add another tag. So I'll type visible dash and then the breakpoint. So where I want to show this con uh, hello world, I only want to show this which uh, on devices which are smaller than 768 pixels wide. So we type XS. Let's save it and I'm going to view the page again and let's look at it. Now I'm going to increase the web page size and as you can see I don't see the hello world tag anymore or the hello world text anymore because we are not looking at this page on a mobile device so if I just decrease the width of this browser and on a certain breakpoint which is the less than 768 pixels I will see the hello world so as you can see I can only visible any element on a particular device or a particular breakpoint now let's do one more thing here. I'm just going to put this here. Let's minimize it. Now, let's say I want to visible this text on tablet and on mobile devices. So what I can do, I can add another class here. So let's just type visible dash SM, save the file and let's open that page again. And then here I can see now if I just increase the browser size, I don't see that, but I need to refresh the page first. So right now we are looking at probably on a medium devices, 992 pixel wide. So if I just decrease the size and I can see that, I can see that uh, hello world text on the smaller devices as well, like tablets and on the phones as well. Okay, so what if I just remove this tag, let's just say visible, and let's save the file again and then open that page and now I'm going to refresh this page and as you can see if I go to the mobile version of the web page I don't see that hello world anymore I can see that only on 
smaller devices, which are tablets. And then if I increase the browser size, it will go away again. As you can see on a medium uh, devices breakpoint, which are 992 pixel wide, it's not gonna show. So you can use the multiple classes to show any element on particular breakpoints. Now with the visible class, we have this option, we can only visible particular content on a particular breakpoint. But let's say you want to hide an element on a specific breakpoint. So instead of using the visible class, you can use the hidden class. So hidden class means that it will only hide that any element on a particular breakpoint on a particular device, you can say. So let's say I want to hide this image on the mobile devices but I want to see that on the rest of the like devices, tablets and desktop. So what I can do here, I'll go to the image tag in the class. I will add another class. So right now I will use uh, hidden class dash and I want to hide that image on mobile devices, which is XS. Okay, save the file. And now let's open that page again and refresh it. And now I can see the image. Okay. I can see the image, but if I go to the smaller breakpoint, which is less than 768 pixel, I don't see that anymore, right? So this is the difference between a visible class and a hidden class. Visible will only make it visible on a particular breakpoint. So if you wanna, if you wanna add a multiple visible breakpoints, I mean two or more than one, then you can use a visible. But if you wanna just hide on a one particular breakpoint, then you can use the hidden class. Now one more thing I want to mention here, we have the group classes at the bottom here as well. So let's say I will go back and open that page and I'll give you an example. So right now I can see this hello world. By default, these visible classes add the element to a block level. Now let's say if we want to make this hello world text in inline, then what I can use is after the SM, I can type dash again and I can type inline. Save the file and then we'll go back and refresh the page let's refresh it and now as you can see the hello world is an inline element not a block level element so that was a quick tutorial about responsive utilities and i'll be back with the next part of bootstrap training thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and yeah see you guys in the next one cheers